How's it going e-commerce sellers? Lamar here and in today's video I'm gonna be breaking down one of my products and showing you exactly how I figure out my gross margin. This is extremely important for you to understand how profitable a product is and just how much that you can spend on Amazon advertising or figuring out your A cost and our PPC spend. I think this is gonna be super valuable if you've already launched a product and you just wanna compare how I'm calculating my gross margin with the way that you're, or the method that you're calculating your gross margin, or if this is your first product launch and you're just trying to figure out how do you figure out if you are profitable, how much money you can spend on Amazon PPC, this video is for you. If you guys are enjoying the videos, if you have any questions or follow-up comments, drop a comment below. I read them all. Happy to give you guys additional feedback or, or help on any further questions you might have. Uh, but without further ado, guys, let's jump in here to today's video, and I'm going to show you exactly how I calculate my gross margin and how we can go about figuring out how much we can just spend on Amazon PPC. All right, guys, so here we are, and we're looking at uh, one of my spreadsheets that I use to calculate uh, my gross profit for all of my products. I've simplified it so that we're only looking at a single product here, just so there's no confusion. I'm gonna walk us through uh, each one of these columns, explain it to you in detail how you can go about you know, copying this exact same spreadsheet so that you have a better understanding of your gross profit, which is then also gonna help us just understand how much you can spend on Amazon advertising. This is a super important spreadsheet, so I don't want you guys to skip over this because it's really important that you understand your numbers and just how much you can spend on your Amazon launch strategy, on your Amazon PPC, um, just basically how profitable you are as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you know, when you're going to launch these uh, new products. So it's super important. Definitely, you're going to want to stick around to make sure that you understand all these intricacies. All right, so this is product number A here. Um, this is These are all real numbers coming from one of my products. I retail this product at $14.99, which is uh, this column. My Amazon fees uh, total $5.44. The way I come up with this is this is a $3.19 pick and pack fee. And then Amazon charges the referral fee, and that's based off of that's a 15% referral fee based off of the retail price. So if you take the retail price times 15% plus 319, it comes out to be the four or the 544. Next column here is my cost of goods sold. So this is how much I'm paying for that product to the factory. I pay $3.55. There's some prep, uh, prep work, which is 50 cents, packaging, 29 cents. Um, there's some logistics, international logistics. So this is bringing the product uh, from overseas, from China over to the USA, 20 cents. I have some warehousing fees and then shipping into Amazon. So going from the warehouse into Amazon, 15 cents. Then I have my Amazon advertising, which I'm gonna show you exactly how I calculate this, but for right now we'll just leave a blank, which gives us our total cost. And this is just a simple uh, sum formula, takes up all these costs right here, gets us our total cost. And then we calculate our gross profit, which is, um, you know, the retail price, the sale price of what we're selling the product for minus the total cost. And that comes out to be $4.76 or a gross margin of almost 32%. So when I'm looking at uh, launching new products or my uh, target margin for, for new products is always 31%, including Amazon advertising. Uh, so right now I'm sitting at 32% gross margin without Amazon advertising. We'll see how that impacts after we calculate our Amazon advertising cost. Before we do that, I just wanted to show you guys how I come up with the Amazon A cost or advertising cost of sale. Um, so how you do this is you essentially take your gross profit with no PPC, um, which is right here because we haven't calculated any PPC cost. So it's $4.76, which is our gross profit, not including PPC. And we simply, to get a percentage here, um, we take that number divided by the retail price. And that gives us almost 32%. So on Amazon, when we're evaluating our uh, PPC spend, 
if we're doing that, if we're doing better than 32%, then our advertising, then our advertising campaigns are profitable. And we can test this by if we were to come back over here and plug in, let's just say that we were spending $4 per unit on advertising, our gross profit, we should still have gross profit. So if we were spending $4 per unit on Amazon advertising, um, in this case, the gross profit would be 76% or 76 cents or 5% gross margin. I wouldn't say that's like absolutely your ideal situation. You know, maybe during launch strategy, this is, this is, um, or during your launch campaign, this is like something that you should be targeting. Um, but after a mature product it has been on the market for a while, you really want to be shooting for the 25, 30% gross margin. All right. So now let's figure out, um, or let me show you how I just go about figuring out the Amazon, uh, Amazon cost or Amazon advertising cost here. So I'm going to go into my Amazon account. Um, you go to advertising campaign manager. All right. So now you want to uh, select the the customized date range. Um, so I, you always typically want to look at a date range. Um, that's at least, uh, you know, seven to 10 days before today's date. And this is the reason for this is it just takes a while for Amazon to report, um, all of the orders and attributed sales that come through your Amazon PPC. And this kind of makes sense because, you know, it, you're spending on ads today, but it takes some people, you know, maybe a day, uh, to make a purchase. Um, or, you know, it takes a day or two for their credit card to process or whatnot. Um, so typically, uh, some of the data reporting on Amazon side is just a little bit delayed. Um, so you want to make sure that you're waiting, you know, seven to 10 days to um, calculate this correctly. So I've done that here. Um, the most important columns that we want to be looking at uh, are, is the spend, uh, the orders, the sales, and the ACoS. So I'm going to come back um, over, or I'm going to grab the uh, total uh, spend that I spent on this product for the given time period. And I'm going to plug it into this down here. So this is my PPC and I'm just filling this chart out. So this is the total spend. And now I'm going to plug in the attributed orders through the Amazon PPC, which is 75. And I'll put that there. So um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, now we can clearly see that through pure PPC or direct co PPC contribution, we are spending uh, $3.55 um, per unit. And if I were to plug in the $3.55 per unit, you would see that we are still profitable on this product, but with only an 8% gross margin. Um, which is accurate because we know that our break-even A cost is 31%. And if we come back over here, we can see that our A cost is only 22%. So my campaigns, my PPT campaigns are running profitably. And um, yeah, if we take a look at the direct attribution for PPC, it's 355. However, it's really important to note here that we need to divide the spend across the total Amazon orders for this product. And the reason for this is, is because when we make a sale through PPC, when a customer makes a search on Amazon, clicks our ad, and then purchases our product, this helps our organic rank for that same keyword, which is super important. This is why I always suggest uh, using Amazon PPC as part of your, uh, your launch strategy on Amazon. But what we want to do here is take the total spend, which is the 266 and divide this by the total number of orders for this product over the same time period. Important to note there guys over the exact same time period. So over the same time period of calculating uh, my return on investment here for uh, ads, I also made 300 or a total sales total orders of 310. So what I would do is take this spend and divide this by my total orders and I come out to 86 cents. So actually 
when I'm calculating my per unit gross margin, I'm not using the 355, I'm using the 86 cents. And that is what's super important. So out of all the units over the past, you know, 30 days for the specific time period, like I said, I spent actually 86 cents per unit on advertising, which gives me a gross margin of 26%. So it's a little bit lower, you know, than I would like to be, but this is fine. And this is a fluctuating number. So right now, this month, it's 26%. Next month, it might be 30% averages out. Um, so there you guys have it. Uh, really just wanted to show you this pretty quickly. I think this is super important to help you understand just how I go about calculating my gross profit, my margin, and my Amazon advertising costs. I know there's been a lot of questions about this. If you do have any follow-up questions, guys, definitely leave a comment below. Happy to answer, follow up with you individually. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely hit that like button, share it to a friend, and I'll see you on the next video.